ஹானரபிள் சேர்மேன் இன் கனெக்ஷன் வித் த ஃபைனல் சப்ளிமெண்ட்ரி டிமாண்ட் தட் இஸ் சாட் டு பி மூவ் பை த ஹானரபிள் சீஃப் மினிஸ்டர் ஐ விஷ் டு ஆஃபர் எ ஃபியூ ரிமார்க்ஸ் த டோட்டல் அமௌண்ட் ஈஸ் டு த டியூன் ஆஃப் ருபீஸ் ஒன் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டீன் க்ரோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் விச் ருபீஸ் தேர்ட்டி க்ரோர்ஸ் ஆர் ஓட்டட் அண்ட் த ரெஸ்ட் சார்ஜ்டு நார்மலி எனி சப்ளிமெண்ட்ரி டிமாண்ட் வுட் நாட் பி மோர் தேன் ஃபைவ் பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் த என்டையர் பட்ஜெட் வாட் இஸ் சாட் டு பி டிமாண்டட் நவ் is 30% and that is shocking a sum of rupees 30 crores is sought to be raised in one installment this is a clear reflection on the total incapacity of the concerned department and the ministry is not being able to properly set about organizing their budgetary spending we can understand a nominal sum of rupees 10 or 15 crores being asked in supplementary demand therefore i request the honorable chief minister to find out ways and means of properly limiting the supplementary budget let us clearly know where exactly we are even in the public accounts committee we have brought this matter to the notice of the respective department but nothing seems to have been done in this direction it has been brought to the notice of the government a number of times i regret to say that nothing has happened the other thing is this let us know what the overdraft position of our state is the very supplementary demand smocks of heavy overdrafts being returned i would like to know from the honorable chief minister what is the ceiling of overdraft limit that the government of india have set for our state recently we learned from the press that the central government is going to limit and put a ceiling for each state what is the limit for our state 15% is going to be the limit fixed was the information we had i would like to know what is the amount of recovery coming under that 15% in the speech of honorable minister also it is said that overdraft is going to be returned let us know what is the amount of overdraft that we are going to return under the 15 percent ceiling that is one thing for which i wish to have an answer i would also be very happy if the chief minister gives an indication as to whether we cannot sit with the government of india and the other states and find out how exactly we can sort out of the overdraft position i would like the chief minister to impress upon the center this aspect of the matter this is very important normally overdraft should not be resorted to by the state government all of us are agreed on that but that is not possible even businessmen get involved in overdrafts even without proper security they draw overdrafts here it is a stable government and therefore there is nothing seriously wrong if we get involved in overdrafts even the central government is involved in overdrafts i would like the state government to discuss this matter with the central government there should be a categorical statement by the center as to the method by which they are going to limit the overdrafts now that the honorable health minister is also here i shall once again refer to the veterinary college students problem i am told that the honorable health minister had a discussion with the students i would like to know the outcomes of the discussion can he give some assurance any tangible assurance at least to the students nothing seems to have been transpired on those lines at least the honorable minister may in his reply tell if any assurance is to be given to the students there is no point is giving a blanket assurance that it will be examined or the needful would be done some definite assurance should be given by the honorable minister so that the matter may be amicably settled without any further delay then i come to another important matter relating to sugar a sum of rupees 2 crores has been allotted even during the discussion on the cooperation demand i referred to the manner in which sugar has been distributed we want that it should be distributed through cooperative agencies so that the people will get the benefit i have been referred to the names of the cooperative societies in the chief minister's constituency and in my constituency and their requests for distribution of sugar have been negatived by the government i would like the honorable chief minister to examine the matter 
to novo and make arrangements to distribute sugar through cooperative societies next come to cyclone repatriates a number of repatriates are sent to tamil nadu and a few of them are sent to other states like mysore and kerala because they are accused to to work in rubber plantations the mother tongue of most of those repatriates is tamil and some of them have been sent to a place called kolar in the mysore state and they have been practically faced with the unemployment problem i would request the honorable chief minister who is the champion of the persons whose mother tongue is tamil to contact the concerned ministry of the central government through a letter and tell them that these persons who have been accused to come to a particular work have been completely neglected and that their grievances should be redressed in this connection i have to point out that the officers from the madras city who had gone there had contemptuously treated them i request the honorable chief minister to look into this matter and do something tangible then i would like to refer to another important matter relating to chit funds the chit fund problem has become worse a poor person in my constituency has lost rupees 4000 by joining the fund i had sent a complaint to the police i would urge upon the government to see that deterrent punishment is given to the persons involved they might try to escape through some loophole in the law and that should be prevented if necessary the government can amend the relevant law and plug the loophole so that the offenders can be properly booked